These are 20 times Max Verstappen humiliated opponents. Chapel, there he goes. Max Verstappen moves into second place. Number 20. Max's tricks while being lapped. At number 20, check out one of his early cheeky moves in Formula 1 back when he was rocking Toro Rosso at just 17. This Dutch sensation pulled a sly trick to pass his rivals while getting lapped. Whenever the blue flag waved for a faster car coming through, the young Verstappen would cozy up behind it, pulling a slick move to pass the drivers who had to give way as well. Valtteri Bottas and Carlos Sainz got caught in his crafty maneuvers. Number 19. Incredible move on Felipe Nasser. Here's another cool moment from his rookie season. The Dutch guy was going head-to-head -head with fellow rookie Felipe Nasser in the third sector. He caught Nasser's slipstream, took out the outside line around the crazy fast Blanchemont corner, pulling up alongside the Brazilian. Then he pulled off one of the slickest moves by breaking later into the chicane on the inside. Nasser round the outside of Blanchemont. Is there enough room to go round the outside? No, because he gets onto the curb, but he's still hanging on in there is Max Verstappen. Under braking, he's got the inside line to the bus stop chicane. It's bold, it's brave, it's beautiful from Max Verstappen. That move bagged him the Best Overtake Award in 2015, and no surprise, NASA's Formula 1 stint didn't last too long. Number 18 first win in his first race with Red Bull. At number 18, after wowing everyone at Toro Rosso, Max got bumped up to Red Bull for the fifth race of the 2016 season, swapping spots with the Russian Daniil Kwiat. After a solid fourth-place qualifying behind his teammate Daniel Ricciardo, the Dutchman was hungry for his first F1 podium. Come Sunday, luck was on his side. Both Mercedeses bailed on the race in the opening lap, putting the two Red Bulls in first and second. Later, thanks to some slick strategy and a faster pace than his teammate, Verstappen owned the race, leaving everyone in the dust. He snagged the win and in just 18 years, 7 months and 15 days, became the youngest driver ever to win an F1 race, making a big statement. Number 17. Max's Masterclass Move on Nico Rosberg The 2016 British Grand Prix was a total mess with rain at the start. In number 17, Max kicked off in third, trailing Nico Rosberg's Mercedes. As the track dried, he caught up to the German, sticking to him like glue from lap 14. On lap 16, as Rosberg struggled for grip, Verstappen, closing in fast, seized the moment and smoothly pulled off a killer move at Beckett's. Look how Rosberg's struggling there. We don't often see a pass what? on this part of the track. Round at Chapel, there he goes. Max Verstappen moves into... He then locked in his second place spot and crossed the finish line ahead of the German. After the race, Christian Horner was blown away and couldn't stop raving about Verstappen's performance. His overtaking move around the outside of Beckett. Yeah, that was amazing. Oh, you guys Incredible. know what it's like down there. Yeah. That was pretty, pretty sensational. Number 16. Max humiliates Rosberg again. At spot number 16, we've got another epic move Max pulled on Rosberg that season, this time at the Brazilian Grand Prix. It was one of those days with pouring rain and a tricky track, but Verstappen just shone. On lap 32, Max was sitting in third, chasing Rosberg. As they came out of the Senna S, Max found some magical grip and pulled off this awesome move on the outside, leaving the German in the dust. A very wide turn there by Felipe. Almost making contact with Esteban Ocon. Seriously, it was like one of the coolest overtakes ever. You can only imagine the look on Rosberg's face after that. Number 15. Max vs Daniel Ricciardo At the 15th spot, let's talk about the 2017 Chinese Grand Prix, hands down one of Max Verstappen's greatest weekends ever. So, Max had an engine issue during qualifying, starting way back in 16th place. Tough luck, right? But come race day, Max unleashed one of the most epic opening laps ever, overtaking a whopping nine positions. By lap eight, he was already in third place, just behind his teammate Daniel Ricciardo. No beating around the bush, Max zoomed past the Aussie. The vortices boiling off the railway. There goes Verstappen down the inside on Daniel Ricciardo in a turn. Ricardo tried to play catch-up, but Max shut him down. Later in the race, during the final laps, they crossed paths again, but Ricardo couldn't crack Max's defense. Verstappen humiliated Ricardo and showed everyone who the real boss of the team was.
Number 14. Amazing Recovery Next up on the list at number 14, we've got Verstappen's stellar performance during the 2018 Russian Grand Prix. So, Max had to start from the 19th place because of a penalty. His teammate Ricardo, dealing with the same mess, started just ahead. But you know Max, right? He swiftly made his way through the grid, and with a late pit stop strategy, he was leading the race from lap 19. After the stop, he settled into fifth place, finishing just ahead of Ricardo. And get this, not only did he beat him, but he left Ricardo in the dust with a whopping 50 second gap. Number 13. Relentless Defense Against Lewis Hamilton The 2018 United States Grand Prix was another weekend to remember. At 13 on the list, Verstappen started from 18th place, and on Sunday, he schooled everyone with a series of killer overtakes, landing himself in second just behind Kimi Raikkonen and ahead of Lewis Hamilton. As Max tried to catch up with Raikkonen, Hamilton was breathing down his neck. But guess what? Max held his ground. In those last laps, no matter what Hamilton threw at him, outside, inside, breaking super late, Verstappen didn't budge. Hamilton had to settle for third place, while Verstappen gave us all a lesson in driving. Number 12. Epic Overtake on Charles Leclerc to Claim Victory At number 12, check out the epic battle between Verstappen and Charles Leclerc at the 2019 Austrian Grand Prix. Max had a shaky start, dropping to 7th place, but he didn't give up. The Dutchman put on a driving clinic, overtaking left and right with some seriously cool moves on Vettel and Bottas. Before you knew it, he was in 2nd place, tailing Charles Leclerc. And then, when it was crunch time, Max didn't hold back. He caught up to Leclerc, pulled off an epic move on the inside, and snatched the victory just two laps from the finish line. Which is early for Stafford. Late breaking. Leclerc this time might just have to give way as he goes. And yeah, they even had a little contact. Number 11. Max humiliates Hamilton twice. The 2019 Brazilian Grand Prix was a total banger, and that's where Verstappen flexed on everyone in number 11. After the first pit stops, Max found himself trailing Hamilton, but the Dutchman pulled off an insane move on the inside of turn 1, leaving Hamilton in the dust and cruising ahead. Then, after a safety car stint, Hamilton was leading, and guess what? Max did it again at the same spot, but this time on the outside, in another epic move. Poor Hamilton, he couldn't do a thing. All he could do was watch as Verstappen took control of the race and snag the win. Number 9. Max humiliates Valtteri Bottas again Next up at number 9, we have a perfect example of how Max is ice cold under pressure, even with his fans cheering. Check this out. During the 2021 Dutch Grand Prix on lap 30, Max, trailing Valtteri Bottas in second place, went full throttle to take him on. They were side by side on the main straight, and Max pulled off the pass before the first corner. Boom! That's how he snagged a sweet victory in front of the Orange Army. Number 8. Max humiliates both Mercedeses at the start. At number 8, let's talk about one of Max's unsung hero moments. Picture this, 2021 Mexico City Grand Prix. Max kicks off in third behind the Mercs. First turn hits, and boom, Max goes all out on the outside, nailing this awesome overtake to snatch the lead. The race result? Untouchable. He cruised to victory with a whopping 16-second lead over Hamilton. Pure brilliance. Number 7. Max vs. Charles Leclerc Number 7 goes to one of the early races of 2022. Everyone thought Ferrari might give Verstappen a hard time for the title, but Max shut them down real quick. At the Miami Grand Prix, Max was on the hunt for Charles Leclerc in the early laps. By lap 9, he caught up, made an awesome move on the inside of the first corner, and then just ran the show to grab the win, leaving Leclerc with no chance. It was like Max saying, I'm not an easy one to beat this season. Number 6. Max vs. Sergio Perez At number 6, we have the race after Miami, the Spanish Grand Prix. Max had a little off-road adventure, dropping behind his teammate Sergio Perez, who was on a different strategy. As the race rolled on, Perez and Max took charge. The cool part? Max caught up, passed Perez, and left him in the dust with way better speed. He crossed the finish line first, over 13 seconds ahead of the Mexican. 
Number 5. Max humiliates Perez again. Moving on at number 5. So, in the 2022 Azerbaijan Grand Prix, Checo Perez took the lead like a boss. You know, he's the street circuit champ and all. But here's the twist. Max Verstappen wasn't having it. On lap 15, Max zoomed past him on the inside of the first corner. And guess what? Max not only stole the lead, but totally wrecked Perez's confidence. He cruised to victory with over a 20-second lead. Perez didn't even get a look in. Number 4. Max versus everyone else. At the fourth spot, we've got one of Verstappen's true masterpieces. In the 2022 Belgian Grand Prix, he literally humiliated the entire grid. Because of a penalty, Max kicked off from 14th place. But here's the wild part. Max was on a whole different level that weekend. Want to know how quickly he snagged the lead? Just 12 laps, breezing past Perez. And the cherry on top, he wrapped up the race with an 18-second lead. That's what you call pure domination. Number 3. Max Destroys Perez 2023 Miami Grand Prix at number 3, Verstappen pulled off a masterpiece in the 2023 Miami Grand Prix. While teammate Sergio Perez snags pole position, Max had a chill start from 9th. But here's where it gets cool. Max pulled off a solid comeback, scoring 2nd place by lap 20, just a second and a half behind Perez, who did his pit stop. Max played the strategy game, extended his stint until lap 46, and popped out right behind Perez after his pit stop. With fresher tires, Max wasted no time, passing him on the outside of the first corner and sealing the deal ahead of him. He's got no other choice. The ball's wheel to wheel and around the outside. Will it be the lead? It's close between the two of them. The crowd Talk about race mastery. Number 2. Max humiliates Alonso in qualifying. At number 2, we have the 2023 Monaco Grand Prix qualifying, a total roller coaster and one of the wildest in history. It was a nail biter with everyone neck and neck. At the end of Q3, Alonso nailed a magnificent lap, claiming the top spot, while Verstappen wasn't improving in the first two sectors. But guess what? In the last sector, Max went full throttle, even kissing the barriers, and bam, he grabbed full position at the very last moment. World champion, or will it be a return to pole position for Fernando Alonso? Who's it going to be across the line? It's Max Verstappen who breaks Aston Martin hard. Talk about a legendary comeback, especially in that insane final sector. Number one. Max plays a trick back on Perez. At the number one spot, we have the 2023 Dutch Grand Prix, a race full of rain, chaos, and crazy twists. Max kicked off in the lead, but when the rain rolled in and Perez made an early pit stop, the Mexican took the lead. But here's the cool part. As the track dried up, Max played it smart, pitted before Perez, turned the tables, and stayed in front. Perez couldn't catch a break for the rest of the race, so Max nailed a killer win, handling the tricky conditions like a boss in front of the Orange Army. If you want to see more of Verstappen's epic stuff, don't miss the Dutchman's polls, but they get increasingly more ridiculous. Click to keep the magic going.